And Sticklers, if you'd like to just move round one each, and bear in mind that the camera's right behind you. So we've got a good 10 minutes to John to James back on next year's video. Um, shake hands, boys, when you're ready. Don't forget, we shorten the rain down. Only on his bottom there. Come on, Ross. Wash it off, Ross. Well turned there by Joe. Both quick, these pair. Again, on his bottom. You don't get nothing for a bottom. <coughs> right, now I'm with you. The object of this sport, for those who don't know, is to throw your man from the standing position. Notice how Rob turned like a cat then. He didn't want to land on his back. He twisted before he hit the ground. It's to throw your opponent cleanly onto his back. Um, the winning throw, we call it a back, and that knockout throw will end about whenever it occurs. And that is throwing your opponent cleanly onto at least three out of his four pins. If they hit the ground simultaneously, that will end the bout. If nobody gets three pins on the ground simultaneously from a throw, there is a simple point system. And the point system is a point for a pin, two points for two pins. As you see, both of them very fast in here. Oh, crook on out, he's gone, both turned. You can see in this sport, it's not necessarily the throw, it's the counter, and whatever that little rally of wrestling turns into. Oh, that was getting a little bit closer then, getting a little bit closer. And as you see, there is no brain play whatsoever. Well spun again, he rotates out of it every time. Um, there is no brain play in Cornish wrestling. And this is why we're going to go back to the times when it was invented, where it came from. And this Celtic sport was the martial art for hand-to-hand -hand combat in, in battle. When you get got too close to use your weapon, your mallet, your axe, whatever on your the um, other army, your opponents, you had to clear the space immediately in front of you. And this you've done with the Celtic style of wrestling. Um, and that's why there is no ground play, because there's no place for anybody to be on the ground or on all fours even on the battlefield, because you're very vulnerable, it's very dangerous. So that's why the throws, as it's evolved as a sport, because if you want to practice a martial art in peacetime, just like the ancient Greeks did with the um, discus or the javelin, they turned it into a sport. So in peacetime you could practice it. And that's what the ancient Britons, the Celts, who first people the British Isles, they did that um, with this form of wrestling. The oldest written route about the Celtic wrestling is the ancient book of Leinster. And we know it formed part of the Tolkien Games, because the Celtic nations are to the ancient Olympics, still going on in 1169, but more importantly, began way back in 1829 BC. So we know this sport wasn't brought by the invasions of Romans or Anglo-Saxons. The ancient Britons have always done this, which makes it, in point of fact, the oldest sport in the British Isles. Um, Cornish wrestling is, is the national sport of Cornwall, along with um, the likes of hurling. And um, just goes back until it's lost in the midst of time. If you mention any era throughout the history, every century, through all those decades, you will find a mention of the Cornish wrestlers and the prowess at the sport. Um, in 1415, on the Battle of Agincourt, the Cornish contingent that went into battle for King Henry went under the cover of two wrestlers in a hitch. Um, everybody knew the men of Cornwall were behind it. They were that famed for their prowess at wrestling. Later on, at 1521, on the field of the Cloth of Gold, uh, when Francis I met Henry VIII at Calais, um, the Dauphin, the chief wrestler, received the royal command to provide a team of wrestlers. This he did, and they humbled each team and the um, so-called English team consisted entirely of Cornishmen. 
The first book ever written completely on Cornish wrestling was in 1915, called The Inplay of the Cornish Hug Wrestler, and explained the art as being a, a mathematical system to overcome your opponent, um, which strictly tr it is true, it's all down to balance and equilibrium and getting in the um, in your central axis. See, very evenly matched, so we'll um, go in with an older opponent, very evenly matched here, a good struggle. As you can see, it's a good, clean, manly stand-up sport. You would have noticed that the opponents, not the backside there, the four corners of the back are at, at the rear and on the flat in the corners, not down on the, on the buttocks or the hips. So we're looking for good, clean... And a very, very entertaining match, this. Unless you've got a good insight into the sport of Cornish wrestling, sometimes it's not this match, but sometimes it looks a little bit stale. Well, but there's always an internal struggle going on, vying for better hold and getting in a better foot position to try and get a slight advantage over your opponent. Um, there is an array of different throws in this sport, but basically when the first opponent attacks, and tries one, tries one throw, then his opponent usually counters him, and it's only ever one throw away. It just takes one throw in the correct manner to end the bout. One clean throw and it's all over. We'll be changing our sticklers after this bout. So we'll have a, a fresh team of sticklers onto the field for the next bout and keep it in the middle boys, keep it in the middle. <laughs> Our next under 16 competitors will be um, Matt Voice and Toby Gardner. Toby Gardner and Matt Voice, they will be our next pair out and this will always be, also be in the under 16 section. And that's time for a shake hands. Well done both. If we could change our stickers now, we'd like to make use of Keith Sandercock, Keith Murphy and Dave Buckley if possible. Could you come out and just two or three votes for us each, please? Much obliged. Rob Doughty on a majority decision on that one. Joe's getting sweet of water, well earned. They'll shake hands now before they leave the ring. You'll notice competitors always...
Might just need to suck it in for a minute. Have a few people to see who knows. You let us know, make sure you're all right. You um, have got to carry on in this sport. Cold. You can give you back at any time. You're never going to carry on when you don't need to. And as you notice, um, despite all the doubts we've had this afternoon so far, no injuries whatsoever. Um, and when you compare it to the Saturday afternoon right. football match or a rugby game, over rotated there. As you see, a, a good throw, but completely over rotated because Ryan span on the way down. Um, if you want to control your man, you've got to steer him to the floor. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. That's the attack, mate. Uh, we'll have a baby under 40 next to the Matthew O'Connor and Ryan Dancy in the under 40 inch. Still looking for competitors in our young farmers category. If any of you are young farmers here today, we've got a under 16 young farmers, and we've got a over 16 young farmers today. I believe they go up to about 26 in the young farmers. So if there's any young farmers here today, we've got some. Next to nothing in the young farmers category, and this is the first year we've got this fine big new trophy kindly given to us um, by Stanley and Mary Case for promoting the sport amongst the youth of Cornwall. Ryan, every bit of Come on, Ryan, get into it. They're turning all the way down. Um, Make it easy for him. Come on, get that jacket up. Because his opponent isn't throwing him. So. Go on. Oh. Come on, Ryan. Get into it. Work a jacket, work a jacket. Take him back, right? Take him back. Oh, 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 Doing well, Ryan. Come on, get into it, mate. As I said, because it's the championship of Cornwall, there's got to be sport over a 10 minute reign. Uh, but ideally, one of these two to do with given the back throw. Otherwise, they've got to go another 10 minute reign and add the points together. Back in, mate. Matthew O'Connor one, Dory is next. In the under 40. Come on, Ryan. Dory, mate. That was a jolly good turn there, and he's got a back decision on that one. That was uh, one of many turns, but give him a big hand and sing it. And uh, eventually he got there with a good back throw. Unanimous decision to the
Boys, when you're ready. You're ready together, when you're ready, we're off. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Roly poly. We don't like to roll them down like a barrel. We like to get it flat and quick. Oh, lucky <laughs> man. Where are you going? Go on, Rich. Go on, Rich. Get in front. Come on, Rich. Come on, bro. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on, Rich. Take him back. Some of the best. Some of the best wrestling we've seen today in the Shadow of Night. There's a lot of tricky stuff going on here. A lot of the in-play, out-play, a lot of counters. Um, many years these two have been wrestling each other, so they know each other's tricks. But still, yet yeah, keep trying to improve on them and um, call the other one to think he's going one way and go another. So, oh, good stuff. Oh, nice turn. Come on, Rich. On the conclusion of this one, we'll um, get the frequency to be carried through the raffle. You can wear them, but if you break them, you'd be in the raffle. Where's the... We're facing them, Jason. Oh, there's a tent talking about. Joe Crawley's Joe Crawley in the ring. Douglas Allen says he'll dress them for the end of 16. Yeah, well, it's... Should have done a run-up. Um, Should have done a run-up. Should have done a run-up. Got nobody to go with in under 16. So, uh, no, but I'll tell you. Not only said you'll wrestle with him. Did he reach one of your faces? He's sweaty, yes, he is. Joe Crawley taking the skills off the ground. I don't put any mics for company. Joe Crawley. Oh, son is there. The younger brother of Ashley in the middle there. Oh, Richard! Of course, that's it. Thanks, Mum. Oh, nice turn, Rich. Jason, look, he's recording. He's calm. All the water drinking going on here, that's good. I want you wrestlers drinking. I want the public drinking too. I can't get my hair on here, can I? I'm having a quick glass. Oh, I'm just being a digi-dip. Whoops, oh, I was over, I sat in back, that was a good one. I got three points for that. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Come on, Rich! Come on, Rich! Oh. Take it by hand! Oh, nice! Good boy! Woo! He's got Rich's arm, right? On the side, somebody's going to get somebody flat in a minute, you know? Come on, Rich! Nasty pasty! Why? Because you're annoying, come on. Hey. Oh, Rach. That's Jason. 
as I said, I've seen just um, the team that's ever went felt recently. Go on! Oh, yes! yes. Lovely! Lovely, Richard! Your knees up, Take that. Little Rich. I slowed him down for you, uh, Rich. Come on! Passing the door with this tiny finger. And Little Rich is in there like a rabbit at the back. Step on his shoes. I'm really good. 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 i the old boy's puffing. Come on. Yeah, but the police can get it old kitty, kitty. Whoever wins, they certainly earned, uh, earned the trophy this afternoon. And that's time. Well done. Well done, both of you. We have a little upset there this afternoon. Richard Cooley by majority decision on the Richard! Woo! 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 Woo!